We all love Star Wars. At some point in our lives, we've spent our hard-earned cash on a slew of collectible merchandise. It's hard to believe a movie franchise could be so successful as to create merchandise in nearly every imaginable form. But the theory remains. If there's a Star Wars label on it, it will sell. And in most cases, this multi-billion dollar entity continues to grow. We here at Lunar Harpoon have searched through the massive catalog of Star Wars swag to develop our list of the top 10 wackiest pieces of Star Wars merchandise. Number 10, Episode 1 Collectible Pepsi Cans. You all remember these. Accompanying the release of Episode 1 in 1909, characters from the film graced the surfaces of cans of Pepsi, Pepsi 1, and Mountain Dew. Each can had a picture of individual characters and a short biography. This led collectors to swarm the shelves in search of a full set. Unfortunately, no one ended up liking the film and left several enthusiastic collectors with gallons of old soda. Following this trend, Campbell's Soup has now released several cans featuring characters from The Force Awakens. Have we learned nothing? Number 9. Star Wars Galactic Funk A lot of our viewers will recognize the tunes from this album. In 1977, Millennium Records charged disco artist Miko with the taking of the score from the popular film and arranging the songs in a funky fashion. This album is one of the earliest examples of the profound influence of the first film, and one of the fun facts from this album is one of the producers was John Bon Jovi. Number 8. The Darth Vader Toaster Available from a number of retailers right now, this half-scalp toaster helmet guarantees the dark side on both ends. This item would have been higher on the list if not for the disappointment that it doesn't force toast the bread from across the room. Number 7. Grillin' Villain Aprons Get ready for summer and let your party guests know you mean business by adorning yourself with your favorite Star Wars villain. Expect compliments like, hey, that's Boba Fett, nice, and Stormtrooper, that's sweet, bro. You'll have the confidence to feed an entire Imperial fleet with these threads, and the chicks, <laughs> forget about it. Number 6, Star Knight Bike Cop. Who doesn't love a good bootleg? And this hilarious ripoff promises flashing lights and sounds from Vader's squad bike on the box. We can't underestimate the scary idea of Vader on wheels. If this guy was a cop in my town, I know I would choose to do business elsewhere. Other bootleg items that are featured in this line are the Galaxy 1 and Galaxy Combat 2 figures. Number 5, Star Wars Vomit Bags. Now this one is for the hardcore collector. There's been a number of barf bags produced with the Star Wars logo, the first being released in 1986 for the Star Tours Disneyland ride to protect against space sickness. These have become ultimately unnecessary as the dizzying effects of the ride were eventually removed. There were also promotional bags for Revenge of the Sith available in Virgin Atlantic flights in 2005. These would prove ultimately useful if the fans saved their bags for the film's release. <laughs> yeah, we like to have fun here. Number 4, R2-D2 Measuring Cups. Now here's the perfect Star Wars gift for Mom. The stack em up droid figure can be placed into 8 different measurements, ideal for Star Wars cookies, cakes, and even Star Wars salsa. Measure it all with R2-D2. Of course, this piece is ruined when one of the cups is thrown away with an old coffee container. Number 3, C-3PO Tape Dispenser. Now this is our favorite design of any piece of office equipment. How this was ever approved is beyond me, but clearly C-3PO is sitting in what looks like a fighter jet seat uh, with the tape being dispensed from between his legs. Complete with the look of surprise when you pull the scotch tape from his midsection, the developers were wise enough to pull the designs of the R2-D2 that dispenses staples out of his rear end. Number 2, George Lucas Family Action Figures. What list would be complete without the obligatory George Lucas vanity item? Not to be outdone by fellow director Peter Jackson, Lucas finally made a cameo in Revenge of the Sith. Of course, the famous Karelian-skinned Baron Papa Noida is included in the set with his family members, Katie, Amanda, and Jet, who also make brief cameos as characters in the film. If you ever wanted to purchase a real-life movie Easter egg, this is the item for you. And the number one item of beloved wacky Star Wars merchandise is the Tauntaun Sleeping Bag. Perfect for scourges on Hoth or awkward teenage slumber parties, the Tauntaun is a perfect accessory for any Star Wars fan who likes sleeping. Retailing at $150, this piece is not for the casual fan, but is beloved by Star Wars faithful the world over. And you thought it looked comfortable from the outside. And there you have it, our top 10 favorite obscure pieces of Star Wars memorabilia. Which ones were your favorite? What was your favorite piece of Star Wars memorabilia that maybe we missed? Are you going to go see The Force Awakens on Thursday? If not, tell us what kind of life-saving surgery you're having instead of going to the movie. 
please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe our videos. Also, please follow us on social media, and we're always open for new ideas about what content we want to bring to our viewers. And may the force be with all of you.